are talking the low budget B movie science fiction horror Arctic Hollow, written and directed by Scott Lambertson. Now, this is a very low budget movie. Before we go any further, I should just let you know this. But what's the story? It focuses on this ex military pilot who is now living a secluded life out in the wilderness somewhere. But he perchances on a young lady who is on an expedition to try and find her father who went missing a few years earlier. Now, he gets a distress call a little later and it appears to be this search party that this woman is a part of. So he, you know, being the kind of the man that he is, see if he can go to rescue her. He's a pilot, he's got his own plane, which he immediately crashes. Uh, but still managed to find a couple of people from this group and they tell him that this woman is trapped in this kind of tunnel system. So he ends up going in there and there is monsters in there. Now what will happen, you'll have to watch the movie and find out. Is this going to the Lost World, you might say? Well, it seems to be certainly inspired by that kind of uh, type of story. Well, let's talk about what works. Now again, I will preface this up by saying this is a very, very low budget movie. But this leads me to my first kind of positive point here. For such a clearly amateur project, uh, it is very, very ambitious. I mean, normally with a, such a low budget movie, you don't really expect to see um, a plot which is quite uh, so ambitious and quite kind of so, um, really kind of something that would rely on a lot of kind of location shooting and VFX and things like this. But they give it a damn good try, so my hat is off to an ambitious low budget project. Um, and they wisely use some uh, techniques here, I think, to disguise the budget as best they can. This movie is filmed, is, is very dark, and what I mean by that is low light rather than kind of tone. Um, which, you know, you could argue, you know, obviously when we have subterranean sequences, they're going to be dark. You know, it's going to be pitch black down there. We've seen plenty of films that have these kind of you know, scenes in caves and stuff, which are kind of like overly lit, so obviously, uh, so we can see what's going on. So yeah, it's kind of realistic, but it also gives our filmmakers a way to kind of hide the uh, the clearly low budget that this movie has got by not revealing the kind of the, the real filming locations or keeping the kind of any creatures kind of shrouded in darkness and things like this. Although I will say there is kind of like a, a reasonable low budget kind of VFX shot uh, towards the end of the movie. Um, there's a couple of okay exterior shots, I, I should say as well. But let's be honest, this movie is not going to be for everyone. It's such a low budget film. It has a very rough and ready kind of feel to it. A very amateurish feel. Anyone wanting a... Um, a, a, a polished production, I, I think maybe you want to look elsewhere. Before I go into a little bit more specifics about what I, I think don't didn't work with this movie, I will say a missed opportunity, I think, for this film would, would have been to have made this a found footage film. This movie would have been suited far better to that kind of uh, style of filmmaking because of its low budget. There's actually quite a few shots here that feel like they should have been in the found footage movie and it's clearly because you know we have a couple of scenes where people are climbing over rocks and the, 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 the camera like focuses on their hands over these kind of rocks and it's obvious because we don't want to have a, a wide shot because we don't want to see it's just in like a quarry or something it's not really meant to be in a, in a kind of a, a cave or something like that so they just keep it in quite tight over the over the hands but it doesn't make sense for a film which is filmed in a traditional style. Had it been a found footage movie, I think the kind of the shots like that would have felt a little bit more kind of natural and you can kind of get away with it. And again, the kind of the sequences where we have the, the creatures, they're very quick, you don't really see anything. You can get away with it a little bit more in a found footage movie, but I think in a traditionally filmed movie, it seems like you're hiding, uh, you know, the kind of the, uh, the budget more. So, that's a missed opportunity, I think, for a movie that could have been. But what about the movie that we actually got? So let's just go into, let's break it down a little bit more into kind of sections. I think maybe um, this movie is only a short film. It's only 17 minutes. But I have to say, it drags. Uh, the movie doesn't have a huge amount kind of going on. Uh, the first part of the movie seems to, to, to drag 
when we're being introduced to our kind of our main character, Bruce. Um, he is a particularly interesting character, I have to be honest with you. We're not really given much of a kind of meat on the buns to his sort of character, and he doesn't seem particularly interesting uh, if we're being completely honest here. Um, and then we kind of have a lot of scenes of in near total darkness in the second half of the movie. It's not particularly kind of like a movie where uh, you're visually kind of treated to stuff. However, this is also not helped by a couple of other factors. The acting, I hate to you know pick on actors sometimes, especially kind of ones that are in obviously low budget productions. The acting here is extraordinarily flat. It's a, it's a, especially our character of Bruce, I have to say, his delivery of lines is very monotone. There's very little kind of facial expressions or body language. You know, it's, it's a very, very, very flat performance. And it's really an uninteresting character, both in the way he's written and the way he's performed. And also the dialogue isn't particularly strong either. It's quite trite. Um, some of the kind of the conversation seems somewhat kind of ham-fisted and not and kind of not realistic, things like this. Um, so the acting and the kind of dialogue is not brilliant. Uh, I think it's oddly paced at times. We have big chunks of kind of no dialogue. Then we have huge kind of like uh, sort of diatribes of dialogue really and where it's not particularly kind of interesting. Again, the pacing here could have been a little bit, a little bit better in regards to having this a little bit more peppered through the film. So the acting, again, technical elements, you know, we, again, I'll emphasis, I appreciate this is a very low budget film. Um, and I think in some aspects, they've done the best they can with the budget that they got. But, you know, someone who's just going to watch this film isn't going to care that this is a very low budget film. They're just going to care, was this good? Did I enjoy it? Uh... The, the, the movie is so dark, like I've said, in the second, even, even to be honest with you, even in the non-cave um, uh, scenes, it still is a pretty dark film. Um, you know, it's oddly filmed because this, the, the choices that they've made in regards to uh, how it is framed and, and, and certain shots, not really wanting to give, give you like a wide angle to try and obviously, you know, hide the fact that it's not actually in a cave. It, it, it really kind of makes it very uninteresting to look at. Um, it's just kind of like, you know, the the, uh, the area where you know, these hands are going, or it's just where the, the torch in the head is going and things like this. It's just filmed in a kind of quite um, very uninteresting way, very undynamic. I mean, the direction here, unfortunately, is on the weaker side in regards to its kind of technical abilities. Things like, you know, audio, I mean, they've obviously done a little bit of ADR here and there. You know, it's okay, I guess, on that sort of side of stuff. You know, it's in regards to um, things like editing and, and that, you know, it's, 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 it's possible. But yeah, just on the kind of the way this movie is, is framed and filmed, there's, there's, there's other choices I would have suggested that to make this movie more dynamic to look at to look at as a visual medium. The film is a visual medium and it just doesn't, you know, it's a lot of the time you're just looking at stuff which you're thinking, why am I looking at this? This is not a found footage movie. You can, can't really get away with it like that. Again, that was a missed opportunity, I feel. Um, the creature stuff, if you wanted to watch this for again, a creature movie, it's precious little. Um, again, I, it's, it's obviously dialogue. Uh, sorry, it's obviously a budget and and, uh, and kind of just the lack of VFX. But there's a couple of sequences where we see, you know, there's um, a couple of close-ups of uh, like a creature's face and stuff. But, you know, there could have been more done with it, I feel. Um, I think they, they need to do it, maybe expand upon that if they could. The, the actual subject matter uh, is a little bit silly. Um, we have this kind of love story that seems way too kind of like they've just met and then the second time they've met there, oh, I love you, this is true love, oh, it's just silly and things like this. Ultimately, the movie's a little dull. Um, there's just not enough of meat on the bones. I think the, the story needed to ha have a little more to it. Um, the characters need to be a little bit more fleshed out. Um, they needed to, it had to be better paced. I think, you know, you, you could have had more interesting visuals. There's just a lot here, I think, um, that was a missed opportunity. And again, I, I can appreciate the budget. I, I really can. 
but there there was choices here I think made that were that could have been better. Um, but maybe it's a learning experience, you know, for the people involved here. It's the best thing I can suggest, maybe. Uh, so it's not a particularly interesting film, I won't lie. Uh, for me, this is like a 3 out of 10. Uh, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Please do let me know, and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.